Hi everyone, welcome to your newest addition to this channel. It is Good Morning Tea, where Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I would read everybody and inspire you with some oracle cards. So how about, let's make your tea now. Welcome to my channel. We're gonna start your reading. However, there is a two days announcement. So if you do not have patience with the announcement, then you should wait two days after. <laughs> so, so here's the announcement. All right. So in this channel, we don't serve anybody. So your entitlement, you can move on with your life. All okay. right. And then now, um, March 21 and 28 is the webinar for entrepreneurship. We've all known that. Um, any uh, personal reads, it's going to be available in the description box. You have to click it, okay? And then, um, uh, uh, what else? Extended one and extended two. There's two readings. If you do not resonate with this one, you might resonate with the second one. Um, that might be your situation. All the way to the end is an extended preview. So make sure you stay all the way to the, to the end part before you can go to the extended link. So you can get the gist of what you're about to see also. And then what else? Um, I feel like that's it. This is the fastest, uh, I feel. Oh, I'm uh, follow me on Instagram, uh, Sal Biadora. I post there um, all about my transits, okay? Transit planets and the stars. Uh, so uh, the other day, um, there was a post about Venus and all these things uh, about where it's transiting right now. And then I talk there about a lot of planets. And also, I do their tarot in IG stories. So make sure you follow me on Instagram. If I'm not here, I'll be in Instagram. And if I'm not on Instagram, then it's none of your business. <laughs> so, uh, what else? I'm a happy person. So this is me getting to know you like our first date. Um, so if you do not like a happy person who sings, who talks a lot about nonsense in life, that's me. That's me. Take it. You don't want to take it. Nobody forced you to click this video. Chances are you stumbled upon this because you have major issues. And I'm just here delivering the message. You got me. So for the OGs who's always been supportive of this channel, I love you. Everybody, each and every one of you. And thank you again for supporting the channel for the 400,000 uh, subscribers. And, you know, it's, we're going to go now to the 500. <laughs> oh, I'm excited. Um... What else? Oh, classes and webinars is also going to be in the description box. I know you guys are so annoyed already because it's really a two-day announcement and I just love to annoy. <laughs> so, now, seriously, let's go to your reading. Here we go. Right, Taurus, so let's start your reading. I forgot to mention, because um, I'm doing the spread like this, and if you guys want to do, because this is good for, like, I want to do it for 30 days on a personal reading, on a personal reading. Okay, I'm, I don't I, ha, I don't have that option yet, but I like to do the this one and this one like a personal reading but based on 30 days, meaning if it's March, the whole prediction is just good for March. Like you want to know what's going to happen in March. Okay, for you. But there's no option. I just need to know first in the comments. Okay, hashtag 30 days and hashtag Salvadora so I know. And no, I don't read the comments. Who has time for that when I'm reading 12 zodiacs every day? Okay? The staff will read it. Mm. There we go. There we go. Let's see. Here we go. I'm not one of those YouTubers. I read the comments. Seriously. <laughs> How many thousands? <laughs> mm -hmm. There we go. Let's see what's going on from a Taurus. Ooh, Busy Bee, the fox. Remember, the fox is sly, but it is protective of one's family. There may be a lot of things going on in the family, at work. Um, being diligent is here also. Um, you might feel also like, you know, you are the elder in the family right now. You're taking care of your kids, you know, your cousins, nephews, and all these things. Um, if it's not like that, you're just trying to make things work. Okay? Um... 
this shows that you know can be like in the past nine weeks you've been stressing out um, about finances um, it can also like uh, trying to uh, make ends meet mm -hmm. this is uh, being resourceful and being smart you know working one job and then get another hustle um, if it's not about hustling, you know, it's just like if I can get overtime, I'll get overtime. Mm -hmm. Because you wanna you wanna save something. Normally, this is like family responsibility. Mm -hmm. You could be also just saving if you're not helping anyone. There's gonna be a lot of losses that you're trying to prevent. The snake, not the best card. Others, they call it just a bracelet. Maybe it's just a bracelet. <laughs> but with the snake, there's deception in the family. There can be deception at work. There can be lies and rivals in the environment. And you're trying to be resourceful. But this can be you also, who's a snake inside the work. But this is about dishonesty, and this is about someone wearing a false... Um, let's just say like this. You're helping, or their help, but this is, this is about the, you know, this is about the current, I don't know. Helping someone, but with a motive. Meaning, something is not revealed. You're doing something good in order to get something, but you're not going to reveal it to the person that you're helping. There is a level of, uh, how to say this, of, well, in a way, illusion, lying. Mm -hmm. But I feel like this is more involved with uh, family and friends can be. We'll see. Too early, to, too, too soon. Oh, okay. Is really interesting because you got this the, the one of the luckiest card, the key, which is the star, uh, you know equivalent to success. So this is showing someone will do anything and everything to be successful, and no matter what it takes, which is a snake, to lie, to deceive, to slither they wear in, and this is the fox is as very smart and resourceful. So let's just say you're trying to go for your dreams. No matter what it takes, you will get it. Mm -hmm. This is it. Now, with the key here, of course, someone owns the key. And the snake here, that will be stolen. Someone, success can be stolen also. Meaning, someone might take advantage of you and steal that opportunity. Because again, I feel like it is in the work environment. Someone will steal an opportunity that is meant for you. Let's just say promotion. You're, going, you're supposed to get a promotion, but someone will inflict poison, and then you won't get it. So this is a race. This is a rival to get the success. The key is also soulmate. That's what I feel. Someone that you feel like your heart belongs to because there's a rose over there. Someone might, uh, you might be having rivals with the person that you are in love with. Martian is here, and Libran is here, and Virgo is here. Let's see. Of course, King of Cups, your seventh house, Scorpio. A lot of things has left the Scorpio already. Mm -hmm. You have question if the person that you have feelings for, if they have the same intensity and love. Mm -hmm. You're questioning them. They do appear to be loving, but you appear to be doubtful. Now, with the fox and the snake now, this is now self-deception. Uh, so you're deceiving yourself. 
meaning you are your own worst enemy, your doubts and fears will cripple you to get towards success. I feel like Libra had the other day, the other reading, like they will ruin their, the connection because of their own mindset. So this is similar to that one. Eight of Wands, wanting to travel or to talk to this person about uh, moving forward. Will they choose you over someone else? Mm -hmm. Eight of Wands is spiritual. You want to talk to this person about, again, do they have the feelings, the same feelings as you do? Eight of Wands is Cupid's arrow, so you're already hit by the arrow. You didn't see it coming also. You've been with this person in lifetimes. Yep. Queen of Cups. So is your soulmate. King and Queen of Cups shows that because there's number eight, and then the eight, the, the snake is also symbolizing number eight. Rahu K2 for me is a snake. Mm -hmm. I know the Nagas is not a snake, but for me, you know. But this can be a Cancer Leo, a Shlesha also. Mm. Anyhow, Cancer, because, you know, I mean, a Shlesha is only in Cancer, I know that. But I just know that there's a Leo still. Okay, Queen of Cups here. You want to know if they're in love with you, they're in love with you. Okay. So both share the same feelings. I'm not sure why you're doubting though. Mm -hmm. Not sure. Ten of Wands. Work has been very, like, so much pressure. Business is such a pressure. Like, to get to where you're, you want to be, it would require so much, you know, help. Okay, this is working over time with the Ten of Wands, being stress is this one. With the Fox, it shows stress with family. You're doing a lot for them. Are you trying to make ends meet again? And it's just so backbreaking, Ten of Wands, because that's your endeavor. You feel that you cannot juggle this relationship or this connection together with what's going on in your life. Mm -hmm. Your faith is being tested. Mm -hmm. Like your belief, your spiritual belief. Mm -hmm. Four of Cups. For me, normally, Four of Cups is something that, you know, it's like I hate it more than the Seven of Cups. Because this is someone thinking about options, like totally, well, someone can make me happy. Someone else can give this to me. Someone else, you know, it's a someone else, okay? But it's an illusion because there's really nobody. But someone is thinking here, well, if you can't give me this kind of love, then someone else will. And then that's where the deception, the self-deception um, will manifest. Thinking that there's someone better but in reality, I feel like the King of Cups just is not making a move. So them not making a move makes you feel this is not worthy. I'm out. Follow my extended preview all the way to the end, Taurus. And we'll see what happens. I'll continue the Lenormand. Make sure you comment there. Hashtag 30 days. Hashtag Sabidara if you guys like to have that kind of, um, how to call it, reading personal-wise. I'll see you guys again. Bye. Hi, Taurus. Welcome to my channel. We're doing your March 2 and 3. Um, like what I've mentioned, there's going to be a change with the spread or how I read. Uh, as far as like, uh, you know, like I know all the feedback would be always like, that's me. Um, you know, that's my story. Now that you know, when I read you that that's your story. I develop a spread where it will just basically, um, I will go down to the part that you don't know, meaning... This card that I'm drawing that I will be opening at the extended, this is the, the truth behind what you know. Things that you've never seen. Things that you basically, when you connect here to the daily read, this is what's hidden. The truth behind the tarot. Here we go. It's very cutthroat. It's not for the easy peasy, okay? These are for the people who wants to face the reality and move, you know, from their life. 
So let's see here. This is basically what you're facing. I'll still continue the same read what I with what I do with extended, but basically I just added now the truth behind the tarot. Here we go. Two of Wands. You're always wondering where this person is, what they're doing. Are they in online dating? I don't know. You tell me with the Two of Wands here. Because it's long distance. This can be your the other person. If it's not long distance, you still wonder. This is someone who checks the website, the online, Instagram, Facebook, social media. What are they doing, Sal? I don't know. I don't know this person. <laughs> don't ask me that. <laughs> okay. And you have already put yourself in a situation where you're not true. You, you know, like you're not dating no one. King of Pentacles. Stable person that is in your life has a manifested career, but even. You know, sorry, even with this manifestation of their stability, you're still wondering what they do. Like, you know, they're giving you something good. But there is a question with the two of Pentacles with the two of Wands energy here. You're questioning it. Got a four of swords. This is someone who's just taking a rest. Meaning it's like, okay. I don't want to deal with it, but there's something bugging me. Because this is when you sleep, and the Two of Wands energy is like, if I'm asleep, are they doing something? Because I don't think you guys are living with each other. You've healed with the Four of Swords. This is someone who's praying also. Praying that everything is going to be okay when they wake up. Trying to just uh, forget about the stress. Sorry about that one. Okay. Sorry about that one. Okay. So someone is trying to forget about the stress here. And the Four of Swords. This is in denial. Can be. Six of Cups. Okay. Someone tried to connect back with you. Six of Cups. It's your consolation. This says for people who can be another Virgo Taurus Capricorn who wanted to reconcile with you. You're wondering why? It puts your heart to a good rest. Finally, Sal. It's happening. Which is good. Okay. Very, very good. Um, with the Six of Cups, it's like a feeling of, um, how to say this, of, um, you know, like familiarity. You feel secure with the King of Pentacles, but the first card is always strongest for me. But why do you have doubts? It's not an Eight of Swords, I know. But look at the, again, the Two of Wands is just looking at something and they're just not doing anything. First card is strongest. Someone is here, definitely. They love you, you love them. Okay, that's good. I mean, I like it. Totally. like this person for you. But I wonder what why this person has doubts. Let me see here. You got a Four of Pentacles. You could be an Aries. This can be an Aries. Aries got this. Aries here, if it's an Aries. So this is your first card there. Holding back. Anytime someone's hold back, something is wrong, right? Because for you, it's just like, okay... There's a shift, they're back, but what do I do? This is that energy also. So you don't want to open up just right away to this person who's trying to reconcile with you. Well, it makes sense. It's Mercury in retrograde, okay? So you're not just going to open up. Oh, wow. Both of you. Both of you are stalking each other, watching each other move. They have a three of ones. But on their end, they're watching you and being optimistic. It's like, oh, we can be together finally. We can be together. The Three of Wands energy with the Six of Cups. They're hopeful to be together with this person. But this person, something matters of the heart, they haven't discussed. They haven't opened up. It can be like, hey, I love you. I care about you. You know, good feelings. Or, hey, what have I seen with the Two of Wands? And that's what we're going to go in extended. The truth behind the tarot, your honor, I rest my case. I will see you guys again. Link down there in the description box. Bye, Taurus. Under Queen of Cups, wish well. Wishing well. Yeah. It's interesting because the Ten of Wands look exactly like the... Um, that one, the tulips. The tulips is also so yeah. energy out there. Hey, you want me? You know. Two of Wands, and you're going to wait for their...